the kicker for me is the way that these guys are responding. It's one thing to go out and get clobbered. It happens, but when you get guys going through the motions, not running out ground balls, not backing up, that's where I take issue. And Beltre throws on to first for the out. Josh Rutledge will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Here's the first pitch. In there, strike one. And that pitch count is 88 now, but to me, he looks good to go. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. Martin is there, and there are two men gone now. Oh, and this crowd is really going to be up and into it now. One out to go. Man, this is awesome. Chris Iannetta is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. But that is absolutely dominant. I mean, what else could you say? 27 up. 27 down, and you know what? This is the first time I've ever witnessed a perfect game. So it's one of the hardest things for a pitcher in the world to do, probably the hardest, but we were fortunate enough to see it here, guys. A perfect game. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And, fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, not, not a big surprise here. He had more hits in this one game than some guys get in a whole month. No doubt he gets the hardware in this one. So that's a wrap. He